Thank you for giving us such a precious gift in Aretha. She was a treasure from a treasure and a treasure surrounded by treasures. Franklin was given special gifts, but she used it in a special way. And she would not want us to celebrate her without talking about she stood for something. She never shamed us. She never disgraced us. She never made us make excuses for her. She represented the best in our community, and she fought for our community until the end. I'll miss you, my buddy. I'll miss you, my friend. This is what I think. You should remember in this time about this magnificent woman. She worked her can off to get where she was. She took the gifts God gave her and she kept getting a little bigger every day. So It's the key to freedom. God bless you, Aretha. We love you. She comes out and she starts singing, and all of these upright, stiff politicians are all over the place. And but when she sang. All of that went away. All that pomp and circumstance and pretension went away. She brought them all to their feet so they can bow to the Queen of Soul. It was a wonderful moment. And as I'm standing there and I'm applauding, President Obama's in front of me. He turns to me and said, that's why she's the Queen of Soul. And I'm, God gives me grace. God gives me grace. I see my savior. 